Alright, so last time we basically did all of the main stuff. We now are going to side stuff, which probably will be most of what we're going to do today. Uh, I meant like an entire list and all of that, so it's going to take a while to go through all of that. So let's uh, start going to them. Uh, did they have anything on this island? No, this is this is an island I actually don't have anything on, so we can uh, leave this place. Or at least I think I don't have anything on this island. I might be wrong. But uh, let's take care uh, of the thing I can take off uh, real quick, which is Beetle. So apparently one of the things that I need to take care of is uh, going to Beetle at uh, a specific time, because Beetle requests you to like come at a specific time when in, in the day because the, the, the NDS relies on like time stuff for some things which again is another uh, mechanic that they have in this game which is interesting that they decide to put in this game but uh, welcome I don't think we've met before no nope. but I know all about you I close up shop in seven days liquidation sale so let's uh, buy the beetle stuff real quick that should take care of uh, the things I need to get from him. How much does that cost? Nah, not all that. How much is this cost? Uh, nah. Alright. So, other than that, we should be good. I don't know if we have more stuff, but we can always come back to him later. I'm not really worried about that. Alright, so let's start go to the list. Uh, okay, Beetle thing is done, I just did it. Next thing uh, is uh, the fishing quest. We can start with the fishing quest, I would like to do it uh, on the way, as we do also the other stuff, but for now, let's also go to the fish. Okay, uh, let me look at the other stuff I have to do here. Oh, okay, we need to do the shooting gallery, which I will do later, since this is probably going to be the most difficult thing to do. Uh, we also have the maze island that I have stuff to do in. Uh, so we will need to go there. Enemy sighted. Uh, my fish went away, apparently. I was looking at information. All right. Well, I lost two hearts, so literally nothing. Yeah. Man, that fish keep running with me. Enemy sighted. Okay, fish, there we go. So, 
So we need to catch uh, one more fish type before we need to go to the fish dude. Okay, I already have this guy. Alright, back to the information. Uh, so I need to re-enter a cave on Molida Island. Uh, is Molida Island in this area? This is the DS Island. Goron Island. Uh, Haru Island. Uh, Isle of Frost. Okay, I think it's uh, probably one of the other places. Uh, I think this should be Molida Island because the place where the shooting range is also Molida Island. So let's go over here. So I need to do the X icon. I need to mark down the ones that I did uh, so I won't confuse them. So. That's uh, this will be my mark. So this is done. This I'm doing. Uh, that's all the fish thing. This is the main, and this is the thing we're going to do right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, Enter the cave on Middle Island, located by Romano's house. Also, I have mail. Hello. This is a letter from King Mot. Ahem. By sister. Boy clad in green, I was deeply impressed by your immense strength. I present you with a treasure for my kingdom, I hope it serves you well. His Majesty King Mot. Oh cool, thanks. And that's the end of it. Okay, am I on Morida Island? I need to check, I didn't make sure which island I'm on. Uh... No, this is not Monolith Island, this is the Witch Island. I do have something to do on the Witch Island, but... Right now I don't know where to find it, so we'll come back to it in a second. I'd rather do things by order. So this way I won't get confused. That's Cannon Island. The yeah, Isle of Ember. Milky Island. Molly Island. Okay, so I need to do the other icon. Okay. So 
So we are going to heal. I mean, I guess I can do the shooting range, so I want to come back here. Okay, so Molida Island. We need to go to the cave next to the, to the house, and from there... I will need to find something. Okay, what does the information say? End of the cave, only the island. Ta ta. Uh, Sin jump eastward towards the area where you first encountered a Zora warrior. Where I first encountered a Zora warrior. I don't think I remember that. Oh, there is a chest over here. Maybe it's this one. Okay. Can't even sneeze in peace. Nothing. I guess I probably dug it out already. Uh, how do I go back? I want to go back. I guess I'll need to do the entire thing again. That sucks. Okay, well, let's see if I missed anything else while I'm already doing the rest of it. So, nothing in that cave. This is where we found the first journal. Okay, this is an entire different thing, so let's come back here in a second. Okay, there we go. A power gem. Okay. Uh, that should be the one in this cave. But... Let's go and make sure that I didn't miss anything. Also, how many do I have right now? To make it a bit easier to figure out this way. So I have 19. I might have all of them then, because the... The last gem that I'm supposed to get is uh, apparently after I beat the game, from the information I got on. Right now we're going for the hearts, we're not going for the gems, but... Unless I already... Wait, actually, did I... Okay, one heart from Bidal, which we got. One heart from Fishing, which we need to get. 
one heart for the shooting range and one heart for the maze. So right now we're working on the gems, yeah. Okay. So we definitely can't do any of the other stuff in that regard. Oh, well, I mean, we can do them, just would take me a bit to, to clear them, so I rather uh, just make sure we do everything else real quick. I guess we can start doing the shooting range, because if I run out of money, I can come back later. So yeah, sure, let's do some, uh, some shooting range stuff. I need to get used to this uh, terrible system. I wonder if I can shoot them as they run. Oh, they can. Okay, so I, I can only shoot them when I see them show up. Man. Really? I shoot the lady instead of the ghost? I could shoot uh, that specific one from the sign. A few moments later. Okay, nice. 8.8k. Alright, there we go. Alright, time's up. Did I just see that? You just ranked up 1.8k. I know you could do it. You've got the class for adventure. Here's the price. Alright, nice. We got a quiver, thank god. You can now hold more arrows. Check the collection screen. If you score more than 2000 points, I will give you something better. <laughs> so we got the quiver. Now we need to get uh, the heart, which is 2k. Okay, let's, uh, let's come back to it later. <laughs> let's take a break from that. I would like to, to work on some of, the, of some of the other stuff. This is one heart we will leave for later. Okay. Uh, so we did the... Monida Island Power Gem. Uh, so it says that I have something... In Spirit Island. Do I have a Spirit Island? I actually don't know. And I have mail. Oh, a letter from the mermaid, okay. Ahem. Should be saucy. Dear Link. Thanks for delivering that letter to me. It was so nice to hear from my sister. I haven't run into Jolene yet, but that's okay. It is just uh, good to know we've always got that sister connection. We will run into each other eventually. It's inevitable, considering our, our taste in hobbies is the same. We are both just obsessed with dressing up in costumes. My sister just prefers her silk pirate clothes to her mermaid costume. Tihi. Maybe I should uh, have kept that uh, bit of info in my diary. <laughs> Take this gift, it's just a little something to show my appreciation. Your favorite pretend mermaid, Joanne. Cool, thank you. You gave me the, the ball and chain. Oh, 
Okay, so mini game. We'll come back to you. You're all too much of a pain in the ass. I'd rather finish everything else first. Okay, I need to see if I have something that's called Spirit Island. Oh, apparently this is the Spirit Island. Okay. So apparently I missed something there. Uh, use grappling hook on the wooden peg to reach the easy side uh, of the island. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, apparently we have more mail. I'm so popular. This is a letter for you, Link. Looks like you've won a prize. Good for you. Here's what it says. Congratulations. You won the drawing. Thanks for entering. Here's a prize, the drawing commission. Hmm. That is... That is it? That's weird. It said you won something, but there is nothing inside. Well, what are you going to do? Did my deal, so I guess I'll be on my way. I see. I guess it's this one? I think I already got this one, right? Right into the water. Okay. No. You can take my money, I don't care. Just let me walk around there for a second. Okay, I did get there. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so we already go the one Spirit Island, but since I am already here, let's move on. Uh, another one. College. Okay, there is a small piece of land in the water right near the dock at Bannon Island. Gobble over with the Gobble Hook and open a treasure chest to get a power gem. I think I did the Bannon Island one, but I will check it out, I guess. I definitely did, because number 17 again. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I remember. So number 17 says, Complete the go ship on floor B7. Of the Temple of the Ocean King, there is a wooden peg. Oh, no, 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 not this one. Yeah, there we go. So, Power Gem number 20. I need to complete Mot's Temple. After completing Mot's Temple, King Mot will send you a letter in the mail. Oh, no, this is the one that we actually got. So no, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't miss this one. I thought we were getting it after the the game ends. Maybe, maybe I didn't get one of them. Then. Hmm. Your sword now hails shockwaves. Swell spirit from the collection screen. May divine protection of the spirit be with you. Uh, let me see. Ok. 
Okay, so now we have like a project. I'm not sure if it's better, but it's definitely something. Uh, okay, so okay, no more mail. Huh? Oh, oh, I think I know what this one is. This one is the invisible chest. Or like the... The chest I couldn't get earlier. Fairly right. Also, there is a chest over there. Uh... Okay. Uh, the information said about the round case, right? Just to add the treasure, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that should give us. The round crystal area. I need to unlock the door for that. Uh, on the peg, use the boomerang. There it is. There we go. All right. So now I just need to get out of here. <laughs> the question in <laughs> is how do we do that? A few moments later. Uh, we need to go here. Okay, let's see what the information says. Uh, after unlocking the door, head up and out of the cave to reach the northern part of my island, immediately pull out your shovel and dig nearby the soft spot. To find the cave, open the other chest below to get the wisdom gem. Aha! Uh -huh. How did I miss that? I don't know. But, there we go. That was uh, probably one of the easier ones to that. It probably would have been better if I grouped them in certain areas, but I didn't... Uh, I didn't. <laughs> just, I didn't. No, no other excuse here. I just didn't. Didn't think about it at the time, and uh, yeah. Okay, so either this is B2 or the other one, I have no idea. Uh, 
Not sure what this did, but I did it. Uh, on floor B2, there is a hidden area at the northwest corner of the room, just west of the locked door. There is a hidden area at the northwest corner of the room, just west of the locked door. Not entirely sure if this is B2. Oops. And we need to go maybe one more down. I guess I can just look at Google. Hold on. Let's open up a map. Or more like let's open up a picture rather than a map because it's not really a map. Uh, number 16. Okay. So. Yeah, it's definitely not this area. So it should be the door below us, I think. Right? Hmm. It says on B2. This is definitely the second floor in this area. Okay, no, wait, what? So it shows in the picture something that looks like that. Maybe I'm supposed to blow up this wall? They don't really show me the upper section of this area, so I'm not sure it's this or not. Okay, there we go. I most definitely didn't do this one. Okay. Oh, so we have a time. Uh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this should be on B8. Yep. 
Okay, so that's B7. Come on, that's not well. <laughs> okay. I should probably get him from the lower one. It's a bit closer down. Let us get this one real quick. What? Excuse me? I was slashing at him. Okay, so somewhere up there. Yeah, we can get a toy from this end. Um, hmm. I 
could just fall down. And it will possibly place me there, right? Okay, burning doesn't do it. So I'll need to come back from the other side, that's fine. Oh, I didn't get the key. So right now we are on uh, B7, so that should be B8. Okay. Uh, I think I can just wait for him here, right? Okay, this I will leave here because we need to go out from that door on the other one. Uh, we need to come up here in order to get the other one, but we'll do that in a second. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what does it say about uh, B8? Uh, when you reach the B8 temple, uh -huh, you find two pedestals in the northern part of the room where you can place the triangle and the circle crystals with the circle. Pedestal on the west side of the chasm and the triangle one on the east. Place both crystals in the pedestal and the chest will appear. Okay, so I'm basically going to place thing here and a thing there. Which the other thing we need to get from a different floor.
Oh boy. Gere. Gere. Okay, apparently it was like that. so I can get rid of him. Alright. Since I'm here... Also grab this real quick. I mean, I do need this anyway for the other one. So we need to come uh, back here in a second. But that's fine. That's okay. As long as we don't need to do it later, it's all right. Get uh, the square which is below us. to cause the invisible bridge, you know, to get the other one. Man. I really hope it's the square one I'm not messing up. No, this is the Zagra one. Well... Good thing the Zagra one is right over there. Bad thing is that I will need to get all of them to get out of here, but that's fine. Since I killed everyone, it should be relatively easy to do it. Okay, here is my chest. Alright. Uh 
Okay, so we are supposed to make a run for it once the Phantom is gone, but since I killed him, we don't really need to bother about that. The only question is... Okay, so it's right... right above it. But apparently... Okay, so I'm supposed to open it from the back. Okay, so that should be... Everything we are supposed to get inside this dungeon. Okay, so we have one on this island. I need to go into the cave. Where Friedel is, which is the other dude. I think this led me there, right? Is that an eye? Yeah, it is an eye. I already shot it. I think it's the one that like spun this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. Okay, and... And that gave us... The beam that told me that there is a cave up here. Yes. And that should be the Fidel, the Fidel cave. Yeah, okay, there we go. So apparently the thing that I missed in this place is that... There should be like a platform to hit. Yeah, there we go, this one. There we go, Courage Gem. Okay. So that should be everything on this island, except uh, the last boss, which we will come back to him later. Okay, so... There is a northwest part of the island. Uh, let's double check. Uh, the lower and down will lower. There is a new cave for us to reach near the northwest part of the island. Okay. Saying northwest, I will believe it's northwest. Since uh, I hope they are not leading me away. Bed, I think. So I want to go up here, I think. Well, I messed up. That's fine. We have this bridge. Uh, I think they lead us to the same area, right? Yeah, it's basically the same area. 
Well. Come on. Just let me out, man. You can take my money. I don't care. So this is the place where we got the thing. And this is where I was below. So did they mean like uh, in the other side? Possibly? Uh, I guess I don't need to go up. And then around. Okay, I believe they mean this game. Yeah, that seems uh, promising. There we go, Wisdom Gem. Alright. So the other two that I'm missing should be on the Maze Island. So let's ignore this for now. Because I'm missing two, right? Yeah, I'm missing two. Okay, so now we are walking. Uh, let me delete all of that. We don't really need that, in that information anymore. Maze Island is the only information actually in it. Or the wisdom one. I will keep the number of them in case I messed up something. So this way I can like track down the numbers. But the rest of them I'm going to just delete to make it a bit more uh, organized. Alright, so we got this, 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 this. We need to get number 17 and 18, I believe, which are the maze bonds. And. Uh, now we are working on the core gem. Okay, do I have any core gems on this island? Uh, Goron Island, out of Ember, uh, Molida Island, Banan Island, uh, Uncharted Island, out of the Dead, uh, and Mott's Temple. Okay, Mott's Temple we can do right now because we are in the area. Out of the Dead. Uh, is in the same zone, but we will probably need to teleport to it. Okay, so let's work on the Mot Temple one. See if this is the one we need. So we'll open the Google Picture stuff, so this way I can tell for certain whether I'm in the right place. Okay, it should be this one, right? 
unless I can jump down. Excuse me. Hmm. Apparently we're not allowed to fall. Well, I guess they can't make it too easy. What is this? Apparently the code gem sitting outside. Uh, which one is that? Because I didn't have that in the list. Uh, this is... A good question. I think it's this one, number 19. Wait, it's the one that I was about to go and get, no? No, this is... No, we're about to go and get number 20. Apparently I was missing number 19. Okay, cool. Well, we got, we got another one. So this is like a, a cave that I... Don't really see. So it should be like right here, I think. Yep, there we go. Uh, am I supposed to collect all of this? No, I'm supposed to avoid all of them. Also, my HP is uh, quite low. Yay, minus 50. Better man. Okay, that's fine. You can have my money. Okay, there we go, call gem. A treasure map, apparently? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to get this one. I might just like... Go and get it, because we don't really need it for uh, anything. Okay, but uh, that was definitely something I need to get. Which is good news. Yeah, now we have uh, 16. Alright. Uh, I think I should go for the rest of them by order. So, apparently, on Spirit Island there is one, I think I already have this one, not sure. Mask Beetle I already got, Temple of Courage. Uh, just before fighting the boss, don't climb up the stairs and yeah, just yet, instead of walk. Around the staircase. Yeah, this is definitely something I didn't get. So, Temple of Courage. Uh, where is the Temple of Courage? Uh, it's number five. Let me see real quick. Temple of Courage. Temple of Courage. Temple of Courage. Uh... Okay, so this is on Molida Island, uh, which we need to go to anyway. Okay, cool. Let's go to Molida Island. Ooh, 
We'll actually need to go back to Monitor Island later because Monitor Island also is the island where I need to do the shooting range, which I'm not looking for though. But that's fine. Uh, so I need to draw this thing. I'm starting to memorize them. I don't know if it's a good thing, but I definitely start to memorize them. Okay, before I'm going away, okay. okay. So we need to go to the final room in the temple, so we can probably take the teleport. I don't need to do like the entire thing. We just need to get to the the temple and then we essentially just need to jump to the end of it. I might also have gotten this item, who knows? Who knows? Okay. Let's see if I can get some hitting item real quick. Nope. Okay, so we need to go to the temple. So this is the final room of the temple, right? For fighting the boss. That's the mean like the floor below us, which is possible. And the temple just before fighting the boss, don't climb up the stairs, just that instead walk around the staircase, you'll find the cracked wall. Blast it away with a bomb. Okay, we already did that, so this one is incorrect. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, number six is the one we got earlier. Okay, we have one on Gorn Island, Isle of Ember, Morida Island. Okay, we have another one on Morida Island. Just west of, west of the Temple of Courage on Morida Island, you will find a wooden peg. Yeah, I did see it outside. Okay, so apparently we need to do something with this wooden peg. So, 14 is good. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, next one is on Gorn Island. I think we can take this bed right? Double down. That's an easier trip. Okay, 
I mean, still uh, a long trip, but not bad. Okay. Uh, so we did get something. That's nice. Okay, so next up is Goron Island. Uh, I think Goron Island is this island. Uh, yeah, right? No, this is Isle of Amber. I don't need to go to Isle of Amber. I guess we can go here before I go to the other one. It doesn't really matter which order I go to them since I do have all the items. This will be a bit, a bit easier to check stuff out. Uh, let's do this a bit shorter. Okay, so Isle of Amber. Return to the Isle of Amber and make your way to the northwest part of the island. There is a small island with treasure chest on it. Grapple on over and open the treasure chest. Okay, so it should be northwest. Could catch this fish, it's coming towards me. Maybe it will be the fish that I'm missing. That looks like the color of the fish that I need. Okay. You caught a luvar. It measures 5 feet and 5 inches. It's not very pretty, but it's very mild mannered. Check it on the collection screen. Okay, nice. So now we have the last fish I need for the first part. We still need to catch two more fishes, but now we can go back to the fish island and take care of that before I do the next part. Okay, that was uh, actually worth it. Okay, so the side now northwest part. I think I see it on the map. This one. Yep. There we go. Four gem. Okay, so Isle of Amber is done. Let's delete the extra information since I don't need it. I 
the Ocean King one we go. The one on the island we got. Okay, Temple of College is the one I checked out and it didn't uh, turn out to be anything. Beetle I got. Uh, there's one on, this, on Spirit Island which I don't think I checked, but I, I will go there later because I need to go there anyway. Uh, okay, so... The one we just did was on Morida Island, uh, yes. It's the one with the woodpecker. And this was Ember Island. Uh, which was the previous one. Okay. So now we need to go to Goron Island. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so go on island. Should be the island here, so we need to go with the reverse end. Okay, apparently that won't go down. Hello there, there was a lot of gummy. How's it going? How was uh, that night stewed by Blood River? That sounds uh, like a, a page turner? Question mark. <laughs> uh, this is Island of Ghost. Uncharted Island. Zazo Island. Uh, hello there, Gomi has come for you with very treasure aid. And by treasure, I mean classy. Hmm, I see. You don't know the red message, it's fine. It's going well, how is every single Zelda? Uh, rough man, uh, right now I'm doing all of the side stuff and mini games and dear god. I have like an entire list I've been going to and I still have one crazy mini game. Well, two, two crazy mini games I need to go to. Right now we are doing the somewhat easier ones. It's actually not an essential game, it's uh, quite abstract, but it ended suddenly. Oh, okay. Interesting. You got me a taste in games. <laughs> uh, I definitely need to check what this game is because I've never heard of this game before. It sounds... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't sound that, uh, that uh, chill. It doesn't sound very peaceful, but uh, I might be wrong. But uh, what we're doing right now is, uh, is relatively chill. Basically, I'm going through a list of uh, stuff I, I've written down and we just go there. So it sounds very exciting. The, the only exciting thing we have in, in, uh, in the game right now is uh, the minigame. I have uh, a shooting minigame I need to do. And dear god. It's probably one of the more intense uh, shooting games I've ever played in Zelda. Because the aiming is uh, <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Uh, okay. But first we have uh, a side quest we've been doing with the fish. Wood out Ashen, ha, huh? many thanks. And what do you need? Are you going to show me the great fish you caught? Yes. Where is it? He he, let me see. Such a stern yet distinctive and manly expression, like my own. There is no doubt, this is a Luval. Phew, impressive. Even for a romantic fisherman like myself, it's a rare treat to see a Luval. Nice work, young man. Looks like you have got the aura that beckons the fish. I think this gift is appropriate. It is yours. Okay, now we got the lure for the, for the other fish. You got a big catch lure. You can catch a ton of big fish with this lure. 
As long as you have that, it should be easier for you to catch a great fish. When you've caught a rare one, don't hesitate to come see me. Oh, I think I know what I'm to do here. So this island had a giant frog in it. And uh, yeah, there we go. So I didn't do this part earlier since we didn't have the hook. So that should be where we are supposed to go. Okay, nice. We got another core gem. Okay, so we need to go to the middle area. I think I see where they want me to go. There we go. Okay, so this one was definitely correct and very easy to get. So this one is being deleted as well. Okay, now it's time to figure out which one I'm missing. Okay, so let me go over the list. Uh, one that I might be missing is on the Isle of Ghast, there is apparently a cave in the Isle of Ghast. But I'm pretty sure that I got it, because the bombs that you are supposed to use to get it are the bombs you can use for free. So I'm pretty sure I got that one. Temple of the Ocean King I definitely got. A Lineback's Ship. Once you reach uh, the southeast quadrant, you'll encounter the large pirate ship. Sail right up to the ship and allow the enemies to ambush you. On line of the ship, defeat all of the mini planes. Maybe I need to go and get uh, attacked on the southeast so you can give me the gem. Okay, it might be a very specific zone. Yeah, sure, let's go over there and test it out, since I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Ah, uh, my ship is down there. Alright. So, I need to be in the southeast area. Is that considered to be the southeast? Yeah, right now we're in southeast, okay. So let's make sure that pirates uh, run into me as I go and collect my fish, I guess. Pretty sure I got this one because we did get uh, something from... Uh line back before but who knows who knows Pirates, uh, apparently.
more enemy inside there. I don't want to go to the ship. Okay, I think I might be skipping them. Still no pirate ship, so I might uh, might have gotten this one if I don't uh, run into anything. Looking for booty? Yep, booty and side quests and mini games. And all of that uh, fun stuff. Ooh. I basically did everything in the game other than the final boss, so right now we are getting everything. Per usual, you know, it is how it is in the other games, we get everything. We get every single Zelda to 100% or close to it, I guess. Tuna. I do not need tuna. I need pirates. Let's try to sell across the entire area. Oh, my fish is right over there. I'll just uh, go over there. This guy. Okay, let's fish. I know that fishing is your favorite thing, Brent. Apparently, fishing is uh, actually needed in this game in order to get all the loot. It's not just a collecting kind of thing. You need to do it in order to to get your stuff. Fish sure likes to fight me. Okay. 
Where are my pilots? Enemy sighted. It's the eyeballs. Well, they're gone. Okay, the fish is far away, so I'm not going to bother with the fish right now. Let's just see if I can find the pirate ship, and if not, I might have uh, gotten it. Okay, shots. I might actually be able to catch the fish, it's coming towards me. But they're not power chips, so I think I might have uh, gotten the ones from this area. Let's adjust the line a little bit. Let's fish and then let's move on to the next one. Where is your boy Neptuna? Yep. Funny thing is, I, actually right now I'm trying to get uh, the the rusty fish for Neptuna, since I still didn't get uh, the rusty fish. Neptuna will be after that, which uh, is also something I'm not looking forward to. Rival, since you played this game before, do you know if I need to equip uh, the bait? I didn't see an option to equip it, but maybe I do. I can't remember much, you played like 13 years ago. Yeah, I see. yeah, that's fair. I mean, I can also look at the uh, Google for that. But yeah, I don't think we have uh, the pirate ship in this area. Let's just, I uh, don't know, go like around down here to make sure that I didn't miss the pirate ships and then uh, let's move on to the next area. Uh, let me see. Um, Phantom... Phantom... Hourglass... Uh, heart pieces... Enemy sighted. Are these pirates? Nope, more shells. Pa 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 pa. Rusty swordfish. Okay. Let's also add it towards this fish. Ok, 
Okay, let's hope this might be my rusty sawfish, maybe. Okay, that looks like something different from what I caught just now. It's another skippy jack. Okay, I don't see the parrot, so let's uh, move on to another area. Uh, let's see real quick. The rusty sawfish is a type of fish featured in phantom hourglass. They are very large, rare fish that can only be caught using big catch lure and are only found on swordfish shadows. There is a specific shadow that looks like a swordfish. When shown to the old welfare, is very impressed. Okay, so no, no exact information where to find it. So this is actually not very useful now. Alright, let's uh, go to Gale Island, I guess. Gale Island was around here. And see if I have something down. On Gare Island, there should be two of them. So let's, uh, let's see. The fish is too far away, so I'm not going to bother getting the fish. Oh wait, this is a banana island. I went to the wrong island. I meant to go to the lower one, I went to the upper one. There we go, Isle of Ghost. So in Isle of Ghost I have a cave that I... Is supposed to have blown up, which I'm pretty sure I did. Huh? And we have the Temple of Wind, uh, which have uh, something there as well, which I, again, I think I got. Do I remember if I got it? No. Okay, ambush. Just money. I'm just going to go to the islands because I don't want my boat to be destroyed. Huh? to go to the island real quick. Okay, Isle of Ghost. So... Which way am I supposed to go for it? The other way.
All right. Okay. Okay, so this is the cave where the first one is supposed to be. Yep, this one which we got. Uh, the second one is to be in the actual temple. Huh? Which again, I'm pretty sure I got, but... Since we are not sure where we're supposed to go, might as well check everything. Keep most of the stuff probably. Yeah, let's keep all of that. Okay, I need to go left right away. Temple of Wind. Uh, uh, temple of Wind. Which is the Temple of Wind? On floor B1, right now I'm on F1, of the temple, you will find a series of wind gazers. Okay, where is B1 in relation to me? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we need to go basically one floor down. Okay, B1. There should be a series of gazers. These ones, I believe. Okay, uh, in a vertical line at the south end of the room. Right across all four wind gazer to reach the platform with uh, a tire chest. Open it and get the core gem. Okay, I'm pretty sure I saw that I already got the chest, but let's make sure. Yep. Okay, so we don't have anything here. Let's leave. down what I checked. So we checked one, it wasn't there. Two is the one I got today. Okay, three and four are the ones we already checked right now. Alright, I checked five. Six is the one I got today, seven is the one I got today. So we need to check eight and up. Okay, eight is the one with the pirate, which I can't seem to get, so we can't really confirm that. Number nine is the one on the DS island, which I dug into. And number ten is the one where we need to kill the eye guys, which I'm pretty sure I got both of them, but we can go and check them in a second. 
Uh, another one is complete Gone Temple. After complete Gone Temple, you will soon get a letter in the mail from Gone Goron. Yeah, so we definitely got 11. 12 is the one that I got today. Okay, let's again mark the one that I got. So, 9 and 10, I need to check. Okay, so 8, we don't know, we need to get it. 9 and 10. I'm pretty sure I got, but sure, we can go and check them. Uh, 11, I definitely got. So, it's not 11. 12 I go today, 13 I go today, 14 I go today, 15 is the one I checked on Banan Island, which we didn't have there. Uncharted Island was number 16, I go today. Number 17 is the one in the Ocean King one, which... I'm pretty sure I got, because we are supposed to shoot uh, the eye. Uh, number 19 is the one I got today, number 20 we checked. So that literally leaves us with nothing. It only leaves us with like possibly the power chip, maybe. Uh, hmm. Let's see about the other spirit gems, if any of them have another uh, thing from the pirate ship. So basically right now, I, I know for certain that I got a gem from Lineback at some point. I just don't know if I got it before or after. So let's take wisdom, gems. And let's take power gems real quick. And open up these two informations. Okay, lineback. Okay, so nothing about lineback in the wisdom gem. There is something about lineback with the power gem, but that's about not the ship thing, it's about something else, which we already did anyway, so it's not really what we are looking for. Okay, so that confirms to me that I probably got 8, so it's not 8, which leaves us with 9 and 10 as a possibility. 11 can never be, 12 we go today... I guess we can go and check 17, even though it doesn't make sense. Yeah, sure, let's go check 17. Also... On Morida Island, just west of the Temple of Courage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this one, and I don't know if I'm very, I'm definitely sure I got this one. Yeah, I think we are good. But we are... Oh, wait! We got all the Courage ones. Ah, uh, never mind. We don't need to do any of that. We are done. <laughs> We're good. We don't need to do any of that. Okay, so now we are just working on the wisdom gems, which means we need to go to the maze. Alright, thank god, we're free. Apparently I looked at the wrong number.
Uh, we can probably use the wind to go back. Alright, one more time. Okay. One more time. Nope. Okay, I'm going to go around. I booted up Dr. Kawashima after all these years, and he said I have a brain of 50 years old. Dr. Kawashima? What is Dr. Kawashima? Is that like a different game? Or some game I'm not familiar with, I guess. Uh, okay, we need to go to Maze Island. Maze Island is... Uh, on the upper right corner. Should be this guy. So we need to use that icon. Okay. Feels old, man. At this game about uh, the doctor that tests your brain. I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Doesn't sound familiar at least. Oh nice, we can catch the fish on the way. Maybe it's a saltfish. So the maze island is going to be tricky. <laughs> I might use the the information we have. If I spider too much. But we shall see. But I mean, is it a bad thing to have uh, the brain of a 50 years old? Like, is it like... That is the question is, does it indicate that you forget a lot of stuff? Like, as if like you are... <laughs> you are becoming senile? Or does it mean that like, your knowledge is like... Quite... Uh, experience? Or like... Uh, or you have a lot of knowledge? I don't know, I don't know like, what, what it's like testing. So. Oh, it was testing your reaction time. Oh, I see. So it's saying you're reacting like 50 years old. <laughs> so regardless of the difficulty of the level of the maze, we can venture to the east end of the island, where the treasure is, and we can get it. Okay. So one of them is very easy to get. Maybe you can eat 20 if you're in for. <laughs> Maybe. It's 50 rupees a try. I should probably try to get it rather than just like go for the treasure chest, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I will use the guide for order placement, so I won't waste too much time, but I don't think I'm going to use it to like guide me everything. Okay, so 
All right, there we go. So I have a map I can use. So we need to go... I guess I can write on the map. Hold on. Yeah. This way it will be a bit easier and I can track everything down. Okay, so we need to go... This way, that way, this way, that way, this way. Then we need to shoot something here. Apparently it's called A on this map. Then we need to go here. Uh, Okay, apparently they want me to go up and down, which is what I usually don't do. But they want me to do that, so we go up here, we get this guy. We come back down. Okay, so this is one. We come back down. We come here. We come here. We get number two here. Then we cross the bridge. Cross the bridge. We skip over. We skip over. Come over here. Come over here. The number three is over here. So we get number three. We go down to around here. Over here we have B. Apparently it's like around here. So this is B. Uh, okay, after B we come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. We shoot four. Um, how do I walk to the other one? Oh, there is a bomb, I see. So now we go through the wall, we go up here, we go up here, there is something to do here, apparently this is called D, what happened to C? C was in the previous area. Uh, obstacle B, climb up the steps, ta ta ta, okay, so right after we do obstacle B, we need to do obstacle C, jump off the ledge on the right, there is a small pound of water, pond of water, just above you, pull out your boomerang and trace a path to a crystal switch that is on the other side of the water, this will lower the spikes that are just tied to just to the right of the switch. I see what Okay that I, I might need to do it several times. So they say C is over here and apparently seven is over here, but we're not supposed to do seven yet so we'll conclude it for later. I assume that I see C from like Somewhere? You do B, then you go to 4, you go to 5. No, I'm pretty sure that uh, the way that I did was correct, yeah. Something is weird though. I don't know why they show me D 
but I'm just going to keep following the information. So we have five uh, in Dale. And this one is D. We can block this wall. Huh? Okay, let's move that hill. I might need to like uh, figure out uh, the pathway as I go along it. Okay, that's six. Uh, okay, then from six we go to seven, which makes sense. Not sure again why C is there, but I'm going to ignore it. Uh, so we go up to heal, to heal, to heal, to heal, up heal, up heal, up heal. Over here we have eight. Okay, then we go down, we go heal. We go here, we go here. Go over that. Okay. Come here, climb back up. Apparently. So we climb back up. We go to the same pathway again. And then we... Okay, I'm just going to leave it open. So we basically jump, 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 and then we continue this way for the exit instead of the lower one. All right, this is our weirdly drawn map. Let's try it out. It might be terrible. Okay, the first item we need Uh, blue dot is the bow. Because the first item I need is my bow. Alright, I'm going to grab my controller as well for that. Yeah, let's see if it works out. I already made a mistake. This is number three. I should have ate this thing, I assume. So we might be screwed over right now. Well, since we are screwed over, might as well check out the rest of the area real quick. Can't do anything about this one until I fix it, so let's leave it alone. Ok, 
Okay, how do I get this chest? Not sure how to get the chairs, but I guess we'll figure it out eventually. Okay, let's save. Okay, let's start again. Yep. Yep. Okay, once again, I need to figure out if uh, the crystal ball over there is the thing that I need to shoot. But let's attempt doing the same thing as before. One down. Two down. Okay, yeah, that's one of the spikes. So that was B. And yeah, now I can apparently blow up this one. Uh, this way. Okay, we have spikes which we can take care of. I think I should have shot this thing over there. Yeah, okay, so we have two things to do in this area, which wasn't very clear from the information I got initially. Okay, we learned a little bit more about our pet way. Okay, now the wall is actually already blown up, so I don't need to worry about that. That's good to know. Second one down. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, this one. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. missing one. Well, that's basically where I'm supposed to be. Uh, which one am I missing? This guy. Alright, there we go. You got a treasure map. Okay, site next to us, we can do it later. You're victorious in the normal level, well done. Nice book, impressive. Tie your hand at it again. Yes, but let me save first. Okay, so... Before we do that, we should probably redraw the map, because now the map is different. Starting from here, we are going here, we're going here, we're going here, we're going here. So something for this belt. This is our A. Okay. Now things are changing a bit here. So we go over here. We have B over here. Which we need to do before I go towards one, which is right here. And then we need to follow this pathway. Okay. Take that. We come down. Then we have two over here. Apparently we have C. Obstacle C, run to your right across the now lower spikes. Take the second path down and then take the immediate path to on the right. Use the grappling hook to create a tight rope and slingshot your way to the higher platform. I see. So over here we have a slingshot kind of uh, situation. Which is apparently right here. Okay. So we are done with that. We are supposed to continue this way. Trees over here. 
and go down. Okay. Go across the bridge. Smack fall. Then go back up. Cross this area. Okay, this is five. Uh, then we need to go down. Uh, we need to do D and E. D is the crystal ball that is over here. I'm just going to mark it in a way that makes sense to me. So this is D and this is E. Okay. And we need to, before I go out of here, I need to go to that area real quick. To that area real quick. This will be our six. And then we go backward. We jump down here, do E. After we're done with E, we go here, 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 we get 7, go down, over here, over here, we get 8. Uh, apparently there is something there, I'm not sure, we'll find out. We come down here. We go up, we can apparently blow up this one, so this is how I get my chest, so that's F, and we go here, we get 9, alright, then we go up, dear god, so many parts for this one. We get 10. And then we go back down. We get 11. Okay. Then we get 12, which is right here. And we go up here. To here, to here, to here, to here. Okay, this is our number 13. Okay, we continue the pathway. Continue the pathway, continue the pathway to here. Uh, yeah, we want to come back here, come here, come here. Come up. Uh, 14 is apparently here, but how do I... How do I go from 14 to the treasure? Oh, I say they want me to just get 14 and then circle back. So I come from 13 to 14, then from 14 I go up and then I circle around, then I go through the entire pathway towards the exit, which is uh, here. Okay, not uh, confusing at all. Sure, let's go. Expert. It's 100 rupees. <laughs> sure. I'll get your 14 bodies. Man, I 
I can't imagine like doing this over and over again to try to figure out just the right way. It's terrible. Terrible. And even even by doing the, the petway, I'm still not entirely sure what the petway is. Just because it's so confusing. Just do it the first time uh, correct, yeah. Easy. If you only you could do it uh, that easily. I should have showed this one earlier, that's a mistake, whatever. Okay, so now we need to go and do two. Which is this way. Okay, uh, we go up here. No, this is three. Two was... Two was above me. Who was here? This is two. Okay. So that was three. Then we go to four. Five. We'll come back to the other one once I'm done with this. Since I'm out of time, <laughs> now my time ran out to, to even blow up the wall. So once again, we start with the bow. Go to it. We shoot that. We shoot it again. Because apparently the first time didn't work out. Okay, we come here. We shoot that. Okay, one down. We come here. We take the roll. Okay, 
this but then six the way up for 10 no that's the wrong one okay 12 Thirteen. Okay, that was very close. Now that I don't need to get uh, the blowing up out, it should be a bit faster. Them spikes. Okay. Number five. Okay, six. 
Come on. Uh, hold on. Uh, I need to shoot. I missed number seven, but it's fine. We can get it for mail. Since I already messed up. Thirteen or fourteen is the one I didn't see yet. Okay, we've got our chest. Very close. Maybe the chest will be there? Probably not, right? Yeah, it doesn't seem like this chest is there. So yeah, I need to do everything again. Let's go. Damn spikes! Okay, four. Six. Oh, apparently I can use that as well. Cool. Okay, seven down. Hey, done. Okay, over here I have to use arrows. That should be nine, yep. Okay, ten. Mm 
11. Still ten. Fourteen. Okay, you got the health container. You increased your life by one and refilled your hearts. You were victorious in the expert level, amazing. Hey, I'm impressed, you are the first one ever to beat the treasure maze. Your name will be carved in the Hall of Fame uh, tab tablet, and I present you with a gift in honor of this occasion. Please accept the contents of that treasure chest. You got a big gold ruby. It's worth 300. Wait, I'm missing... I'm missing one wisdom. I'm missing one wisdom. Uh... Uh, wisdom, okay. So I know... Yeah, the maze island, okay. In the maze island, there are two chests. One is the one we get from the reward. Or the easy chest. So we got that. And 17 was the one we got earlier. So I'm still missing one wisdom chest. Or wisdom, wisdom gem. Okay, let's go over the ones that I did then. After completing the Temple of Wind, return to Astrid and speak with her. Okay, I think I didn't go back to Astrid, so that might be what we need to do. So we need to go to the Isle of Ember. I think that's one of the ones I wasn't sure about. If not, it should be... In Temple of Courage, because I remember there being a chest in a Temporal that I couldn't get, so it might have been the Temple of Courage. But let's first of all go to the Lady, which should be on this island, I think. Yeah, over there, okay. So we need to use the X. Okay, if it's not this one, it should be the temple, I believe. And if not, I would need to like go through them one by one like I did with the other one. But the other one was a mistake. The other one was a, wasn't intentional. But with this one, I might have to do it uh, intentionally. Okay, let's see if I can fish my fish. Basically, right now we have... Uh, Two or three things we are missing. We're missing the fish, which we need to catch two of them. We're missing the shooting game, or the second part of the shooting game that I need to work on. And uh, we're missing the final wisdom gem. Let's play like the, the main stuff. Because I did the maze, which was again one of the hard stuff. The other hard thing is the shooting gun. But now just fishing, shooting the range, and wherever this wisdom gem is. Okay, another small fish. Okay, let's see if... Uh, 
I skipped the reward from the lady. And if I didn't, then it should be the temple. Of a check lady. Has fate clouded your two cores, Ling? Yes. Well, then I will foresee where you must go next. I see it now, your future. I see it. I shall speak, listen to you with, with your hearts. You have rescued the spirit of wisdom. Please take this, Ling. Okay, there we go. You got a wisdom gem, it radiates wisdom, but it can't be used like this. You can cast the power of the spirit with those aiding your journey. You possess the power to defeat your foe, and your final battle, I now see it. Yes, to save Tetra, you must destroy this very source of darkness. Use the phantom sword to beat to on the beast under the temple of the Ocean King. I will pray for your safety link. Okay, so with that we got all of the gems. So now it's just about finishing the fish stuff and finishing the other thing, which is a shooting range. All right. Let's go finish the gem stuff completely. Meaning let's go to the spirit temple. this thing okay I can close this tab uh, yeah so these are the only tabs I need the fish and the other thing Okay, well the other two things are relatively easy to find, I just need literally need to shoot shit. And the other one I just need to keep fishing until I get the thing I need. Other than that, I think we'll do. Yeah, other than that, I don't think we have anything in particular. Okay, I mean, we can get the last treasure that is next to the, uh, the island of Owen. It might be time. So I should go and get it, but other than that, uh, yeah, other than that, we, we got everything else. Hello, I'm back. The spring is filled with a mysterious light. Which spirit gem do you want? Power on. So far, you have located 20 power gems. With this many spirit gems, more of your spirit of power's true ability will be unleashed. Come forward, spirit of power. Using the spirit gems this boy has collected, search yourself for the true extent of your spirit power. The spirit of power has been powered up. Your attack power is now maximized. Swap spirits on the collection screen. May the divine protection of the spirits be with you, everywhere you venture. Okay. Wisdom. Yep, I got 20, yep. Comfort spirit of wisdom, yep. Let's see what we get. Ok, 
Okay, the defense has been maximized. Okay, so I can have more defense, my divine protection. Okay, cool. And time for the last one. Courage. Come for all spirit of courage using a gem that Link has collected. You must recall the true extent of your spirit power. Okay. The spirit of courage has been powered up. Your sword shock waves are maxed. May divine spirit, my divine protection of the spirits be with you ever eventual. Let's see. I think I probably would stick to the power one, but uh, we should be good. I can also use a defense one on occasion, probably. Okay, anyway. Uh... We need to fish. That's what we need to do. We need to fish and we need to do the shooting uh, minigame. Mm. The fish is very far away from me. Yeah, the fish is very far away from me. Let's come from the other side. I will leave the shooting game, I think, for less, because the shooting game is probably the worst one. This one is not hard, this one just uh, takes a while. Now that I figured out how to fish properly. But we're only missing two fish, so if I get extremely lucky, it might be just between two pools. Because we need to catch uh, one fish and then go back, and then we should be able to go find the other fish. The interesting thing that they told us in the information is that apparently the rusty fish is supposed to look different. On uh, the shadows part. So maybe I'm supposed to look for like a shadow that looks different. So like the information that I have opened up essentially says uh, uh, there are very large, rare fish that can only be caught using big catch loom and are only found on swordfish, swordfish shadows. 
There's a bunch of dark shadows that specifically look like swordfish. When shown to the old wayfarer, is very impressed. So it might be just a case of me needing to jump between areas until I Till I see the shadow that I need. Wait, what? Apparently, this worked? Is it what? Huh? Apparently that was an Omega, sure. Yeah, this is not a fish I need. Uh... Okay, what is the last symbol? This symbol, okay. Apparently I have two treasures in this area as well. Okay, let's get the two treasures. And we're off. Yes, we're off. Okay. Let's get uh, these two treasures and uh, maybe the fish will be down there. But it does seem to go down. I need to look up if uh, the fish looks different. Because if the fish looks different, it will make things easier. If it doesn't look different, then I need to basically keep uh, trying to get them. I could have gotten the treasure up there, I forgot about it. That's fine, we can go get it later. Once I'm done with this area. Because we did just uh, finish the island up there, we just forgot that we had something to salvage. How is my ship powered? There's an engine below deck that. Uh, uh, Lineback. Lineback is uh, is working on. He's like making it on. Link is number one Pluto of this world. I mean... Yes and no? Because if you think about it... It cleans a lot of the, the places from corruption. But it does it does cause some uh, corruption as well on the way. So yes and no.
Okay. There we go, one treasure. I got the Zero Scale, amazing. Okay, let's uh, go out. Hopefully, I can get the fish. If not, it's fine. And it look up. Uh, let's see. Phantom Hourglass Rusty Saltfish. Where is the Rusty Saltfish? Uh, I've got uh, the fish oil and the big lure, but I can't find the saltfish icon. I do only have the first two sea charts yet, yeah, anyone knows where the saltfish I think the fourth shell, but the other saltfish is on the regular fish icon. Okay, so no matter which, uh, which icon it is, it should be possible to get a saltfish. The saltfish icon is sometimes just a rusty. What? what? The saltfish icon is something just a rusty saltfish. I just got one today. I've caught two rusty saltfish, and both were caught during the time when the masked ship is out. When the masked ship is out. So, do I need to do it in like a specific time of day? Uh, I've seen saltfish icon on all uh, places apparently, one person says. Okay, let's fish. Seems for the most part that everyone says that uh, no matter what I do, it's RNG. Basically, just catch everything. Yay! to the other one. Uh, let's start it again. Okay. Hopefully I get uh, the thing I need. We shall see. Fish is on the other side, oh, that's unfortunate. I'm not going to run after it. I do need to fix my route a little bit. Enemy sighted. Well, the enemy can wait, I'm going to salvage. Alright. 
Let's see what awaits us. Should probably not mess with these guys too much. God, it's such a long pet play. Okay. That should be the last treasure I need to pick, I believe. And I got the sheep out. Okay, well. Uh, so yeah, back to our go catch a fish situation. A few moments later. That's uh, our fish. All right. Alright, there we go. You caught a rusty swordfish. It measures 10 feet and 3 inches. Alright, we got our first fish. Nice. This is a big one. Look at that impressive pattern on its back. Alright, since we got our fish, let's quickly go to this guy. And uh, then it will be an effort to catch Neptuna, I believe. Well, this should be the, the last fish we need to get. The only issue with uh, Neptuna is I'm not sure if Neptuna is uh, purple or not. So we will need to look into that. Hello, sir. Wood heart treasures, how many things? And what do you need? Are you going to show me the great fish you caught? Yes. Where is it? Where is it? Hehe, <laughs> let me see. This sword is sharp, like my passion for adventure. This is a rusty swordfish. Hehe, <laughs> impressive. 
Rossi swordfish are backpoy kills, even for bold men of passion like myself. Nice work, young man. Because your skill is quite equal to mine, you more than deserve this gift. You got the Hyron Hall ship out. I think a courageous fisherman such as yourself can do it. Lately, fish shadows have been sighted on the sea's surface. Romans are swearing among the bold and hearty fishermen. The legendary fish Neptuna surfaces once again. If you want to catch one, you will totally be the legendary romantic. Okay, let's save, since we managed to get one of them. And let's work on getting Neptuna. A few moments later. Alright, let's see if we get lucky and get our fish. Okay, this is our fish. Okay. Alright, there we go! You got the legendary fish, Neptuna. It measures 15 feet and 3 inches. Fishermen swap tails of this mythical fish. Take it to the adventure room. Alright, well, that was an intense one. Intense one. Whew. We managed to catch our last fish. And with that, we are done with this side quest. Thank God. That was a very long side quest. This is probably the slowest side quest out of all the Zeldas. If I have to say, like, uh, which one is uh, is is uh, the slowest? Uh, it's not really the worst. It's not. It's not hard. It's not like a hard mini quest. It just it takes a while. But uh, we're done with it. And what do you need? 
Are you going to show me the fish you caught here? Where is it? Hee hee hee, let me see. This, this is the legendary fish, Neptuna. This is the first time I have gazed into its mighty eyes. For you to have caught the living embodiment of the romance of the sea, young man, you have the most adventurous heart. For truly seizing the spirit of wafering adventure, wafering adventure, a gift. You got a heart container. You increased your life by one and refilled your hearts. Our mutual, mutual passion for the wayfaring life bounds as us as brothers. Bravo, young man. You have followed your heart. You are truly the legendary romantic. Alright, with that we are done with the fishing. No more fishing ever again. No more. We are done with that. Instead, now we have some fun time with shooting. Yay! A few moments later. Once again. Okay. Wait, it was 2k, right? <laughs> it was 2k. I didn't miss anything. Alright, time's up. Wow, 2000 points. Okay, thank god. We are done. We don't need to do this thing anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> we are free. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> wow, 2000 points. Amazing. Nice work, in. You are a complete master of the bow. You got the heart container. You increased your life by one and refilled your hearts. There we go, we got a full set of hearts. We are finally done. We can actually continue with the story. Oh my god. Uh, did I even breathe? I didn't. I didn't breathe. I was holding my breath the entire time. Uh, let me see what else you've got. What else did you see? Uh, but, uh, I'm a Black Cavalier fan. It has been so long since uh, the last episode. I'm, I'm actually also a, a Black Clover fan, but I didn't uh, I didn't read the entire manga. I read some of it. I need to I need to go back to the manga. And uh, and read the rest at some point. If you are into sports, Coconut Basket is a good one. Yeah, Coconut Basket is a good one. Also, Ace of Diamonds is, is a good one as well. Uh, if, if you're into like sport anime. And also there is the Sucker one that came recently. Uh, it's also quite uh, quite good. I don't remember the name for, for uh, the new one. Uh, the new one is, uh, is popular. A lot of people uh, liked uh, the manga. Apparently that wasn't correct. Uh, maybe we'll check out Kuroko uh, no Basket. One of your favorite uh, manga is called Course Game. You haven't read... Uh... Need to go this way. You haven't read the manga mainly because you haven't watched the series with the fans, sort of. So you don't want to get a... Hmm, I see. 
Mix is a good uh, baseball anime. It is newer. I actually don't know either. I don't know cross game. I don't know mix. Don't don't sound familiar. Yes, for diamonds is uh, is a baseball one. It's nice. Uh, but there is a, there, a one that came out recently that it's like a soccer one. It's quite good. Its manga is also like a very popular, but I don't remember the name. It's like a, a bunch of uh, a bunch of high school kids being uh, essentially shoved into a. Well, they 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 want to be part of the the soccer league or whatever. Yeah, blue lock. Yes, yeah, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one I was thinking about. Yep, yeah, blue lock. Blue lock is, uh, is very good. I think that's all the mangas you guys mentioned, right? I mean, there are, there are definitely more that I'm reading, but... Uh, pa -pa -pa. I didn't mention any, any other ones. You were watching Blue Lock earlier? Mm -hmm. Blue Lock is uh, very good. I think uh, I think the, the manga is probably a bit better than, uh, than the anime, but the anime is still very good. Actually, enjoy the manga quite a bit. But uh, I need to... I think I left it slightly after uh, World Animes. So like I, I read uh, the manga first. Yeah, I read the manga first and then I watched the anime. And I think I'm slightly ahead in the, in the manga. But uh, I, didn't, I definitely didn't finish it. I need to go back to it eventually. All right, uh, let's uh, take this. Why not? Sure. If an excess of life for rom-com with beautiful art, Mason Hiku is good. Well, the manga is even watched anime. Hmm. Mason Hiku. I'm not familiar with that one either. But if you like a uh, slice of life, a uh, slightly, slightly old, older one, but. Uh, Silver Spoon is very good. Unfortunately, the manga didn't really continue, but... Oops. But Silver Spoon is quite good. It's a slice of, slice of life one. It's uh, from the same creator that made uh, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, it's the same guy. Also, the art is, uh, is quite similar. Oh, okay. I guess I'm waiting. Uh, if you like Coconut Basket is uh, at the top when it comes to anime sports, well, I mean, it depends, because Coconut Basket, uh, when it comes to sport, it's not really like a quote-unquote authentic sport. <laughs> So it depends, it depends what is your, uh, your uh, more uh, real to, to life kind of, uh, kind of stuff, I guess. I don't remember if I need to go up or if I need to go over here, so let's find out real quick. High Q is another good one, yes. I definitely agree with that. Okay, we don't want to be ill. This is not uh, the way.
Okay. There we go. No more of uh, this nonsense. Okay. So... Do I need to smack this thing? No. That's for the file. Smacking the crystal ball makes a chest door, but not opening the door. So I think I do need to go in here. Am I at the end of the game? Yep. Yep. The last thing I have to do is basically just uh, getting the... the minigame uh, going, which we did. Uh, whoops. So now we're working on getting to the end of the game. Uh, maybe I should do way... There we go. So now we don't need to deal with these guys. Another uh, good sports anime that uh, actually don't uh, don't get a lot of credit is probably uh, Arena no Kishi, the the knight in the circle. I actually liked uh, this anime quite a bit. It's not like uh, the most known anime out there, but it was, it was a good one. I enjoyed it. Sure, that is like around here somewhere. I actually need one of them for... I think I need this one. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that should uh, get us going. There we go. So square, circle, and triangle. Okay, so now... We are in a new zone. Okay.
<laughs> I just went straight at it. I want to smack it and be down with it. Okay. Man. Let's get this guy to follow us. Okay, there we go. We got our key. And a chest. Uh, okay, so... What are we... Supposed to do. Can come up here, get this rock, which was meant to be used to kill him, which we already did. Huh? Remember, right? This is uh, a wall. Okay, there we go. You got a big OP. Okay, apparently that didn't open the door. I guess I'm supposed to come from the other side. So I don't need to come all the way to this side. Hmm. Alright. It would be nice if they brought it back with, uh, that, out of, with that outside. Is there any Zelda game with uh, Gilby looking out? I don't think there is, is there? I might be wrong. Uh, Alright, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Okay, so now the question is, how do I get inside? Okay, I assume that uh, did something. Uh, 
Okay, with that, all of them are dead. Huh? Wait, this one have a timer? Excuse me? Don't even know how to get up. What is up here? Okay, so that's giving us the second bridge. Okay, it didn't do anything. Okay, let's try to go down since I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, wait, we don't actually need to do the that all. We can just do this one. Yep. Oh, actually, I don't. Well, so much for that. Okay, I uh, could go down and do it again, I guess, now that he's dead. Huh? But uh, let's do this first real quick. Get to the other side, we need to go all the way around. Well, that sucks. Oh no, come on! That's not fair. Ah, I was rushing. Yeah. 
Okay, we go the treasure map apparently. Are you kidding me? It started running right when I was next to it. Why? <laughs> There we go. Okay. You thought the chest was going to give me something else? I mean, we're going to get it. I I'm going to get this chest uh, later. So right now, the way that I see it is that I am probably going to get like another uh, shortcut outside once we are close to the exit. So for now, let's continue, and when we are actually at the exit, I will go and uh, go and dig it out real quick. It shouldn't take too long, so yeah. I just hope I will be able to do it because uh, right now I'm running out of time slightly. Eleven minutes. It's uh, it's not a lot. Okay, we have some knights. Phantoms, they seem to be guarding the door. Go get them and get to the door link. Well. Well. <laughs> Should I just let him get me? Wait, apparently they lost me. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. I can drop a bomb, really? But, well, that's that's nice if I can do it. <laughs> it's a bit unfair to them, but that's nice if I can do it. I figured I can do it because they told me that I can only do it with uh, the sword. So we got like this sword in order to attack them. Man. Okay, let me... Change into that so we can dig real quick. You think I can? You're not sure. Hmm. Hmm, okay, so apparently they just uh, get here right away. Okay, got one. Okay, there we go. 
that was a bit ridiculous. Wait, we have another round? Are you kidding me? And I'm right inside the range. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fair. I need to dig the, the thing over there. Yeah, one hit and they kill me. It's uh, it's that kind of uh, fair gameplay. Okay, let's try to to do a different tactic. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wait, I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. Okay, that's fine. That's uh, the first part of the plan. No, come on! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Okay, nice. There we go. All right. You did it. Now we can go even deeper in Temple Link. Okay, nice. Let's see. Ooh, well, who knew a place like this was in was in here, deep inside the temple. The end is really close, so what are we standing around for? Come on, let's get the Bellum Link. Okay. What's that? <laughs> hmm, apparently there's no way out. Oh no, the bridge is down, Link. We can go back. Are you sure you are ready for this? For this? Yes. <laughs> but if you are worried, you can go back once uh, and prepare. It's okay, I'm here for you, Link. And I'm with you too. I'm with you too. Thanks, everyone. Hey, come on, let's go, Link. Okay, so we can actually exit. If you want to return to the entrance of the temple, step into the blue light. Let's try. I, I have five minutes. So let's, let's try. 
if worst case scenario we can uh, probably come back so it's okay It's a tentacle catcher. Bellum, evil phantom. Okay, what are the mechanics in this guy? So shooting doesn't do anything. This seems to just uh, slowly come towards me. Am I supposed to go up the stairs maybe? Hailing, those weird things are trailing him. Do you think there is any way you can yank on them? Like if we use a tool to hook them or something? I see. Thank you for, for the information, Navi. Okay, but apparently we can do it from here. What, what are the stairs for them? Okay, now we need to go up. Come on. We can just jump down. Come on. Ready? 
Okay. I guess we're going back up again. Okay, they're just blocking my way. Another floor now. Okay, there we go. Ooh, what is that? It just spit something out. Ew, why? I feel like I've seen that someone before. It reminds me of another time. Yeek. What was that? I feel so strange. I... I wonder what that was. Celia, or Ciela, Grandma. That is the memory you lost. Long ago, Bellum attacked you, stealing your power and memories. Now those memories have surfaced. You have them back? Ah, I remember. I remember it all now. I'm Ciela, the spirit of time and courage. I finally remember everything. All right, Ciela. All right, Ciela, now is the time to deliver the final blow to Bellum. That monster still lives. To perform the last step... Ciela, I think you know what you need to do. Yeah, leave it to me. All right, let's go, Link. I got my, mem mem my memory back. Soon, you will see what I can really do. Okay. I guess we are going back down. It's hard to, predict, to predict these wild movements, but it is okay. With me at your side, we can take on any enemy. And as long as I trust my true power to the Phantom Hourglass, you have the ability to stop time. First focus your power on the Hourglass with the Phantom Sphere I release. Each Phantom Sphere has the ability to stop time just once. The hourglass icon will appear at the bottom of the screen, touch that, and draw the shape of the phantom hourglass, a figure 8. 
Time will stop. Huh? Huh? Let's drink the potion. Uh, collection. Okay, let's change the defense one until I figure out what I'm doing here. So I need to draw the figure eight. But how do I do it? Yeah, I'm pressing it. When I'm pressing it, we have like this... Uh this thing on the screen. But I don't get how I'm supposed to draw it. Yeah, I'm trying to draw it. It doesn't draw it, which makes me wonder what I'm doing wrong. Okay, now it worked. Somehow. You did it. You stopped time. I will do my best to create the next Phantom Sphere as fast as I can. Hang in there. Okay. Wait, she, she just threw it randomly at me? Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to stop him when he's down, but... Oh my god. <laughs> All right, that worked out. Trying to do the the figure eight is uh, is the hardest part of this thing. Come on. Tech. Okay. Next phase? Look out, the ceiling is cracking, cracking, Link. Dex is, is still blocked. What do, what do we do?
Apparently it's cracking, not falling down. <laughs> it's cracking. Hey, old man, come look at this for a second. Old man. He's giving us this energy, like in Dragon Ball. And smash. Oof, ouch, what's going on? Look who it is, falling out of the sky on my head. Walk on where you teleport people, old man. So the one that got us out of the temple, that was you, Gamba? Yes, it was me. The two of you have done well. It's not uh, gone, but the seal holding me is weakening. My power was restored enough to bring you here. Hey, kid. Wake up and look at this link. My friend, Tetra. Tetra is going to be okay, right, Grandpa? Ah, very well done, Link. After you slew Bellum, I used some of my power and focused it on Tetra. It seems to have worked. She is recovering nicely. I think she will, be f she will be fine. It seems you have done it, Link. Tetra is back. I owe you a big thanks, Link. Since I got uh, on that ghost ship, I've been dreaming. I know that you saved me, Link. I saw everything. Oh, phew. Looks, looks like uh, you're going to be fine. It is nice to meet you. Thanks for saving me, Ciela. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't do a thing. It was all Link. And release. Ahem. <laughs> Ahem. Thank you too, Lineback. I'm grateful for everything. Oh no, it was it was nothing really. Pretty standard. No way I was going to let uh, these two go at it alone. It was too dangerous. I had to step in and help out. What are you talking about? You left all the dangerous stuff to Link. Oh. Okay, it's not. Uh, it's not over yet. What happened? That wasn't good. What, what what's going on? I don't know. Oh no! Everyone, everyone outside. Are we going to have a sheep battle? <laughs> I have a bad feeling. I feel like we're going to have a sheep battle. <gasps> what is that monster? That's Bellum. But how? I thought we defeated him. Look, look at Etra. She was still alive. So, so he's still alive. Uh, so that is why my power isn't fully restored. So that's why my power isn't fully restored. Yes, indeed. Uh, The squiddy thing is getting away. Oh boy. 
Yeah, but it looks like we are going to have a ship battle. Hey, did he just possess the ghost ship? We have uh, to chase after him. I will take the, the wheel. Prepare to mend the cannon link. Alright. Uh, do I need to like uh, aim? No, I just need to shoot. Okay. And so how to aim this thing? But one eye just doesn't want to get popped. Come on, get closer, I can. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't see any more eyes or anything for that matter. There we go. Had enough uh, punishment for my uh, SS lineback, I guess. Okay, let's turn bold. But wait, before you do that, this will be dangerous. Shouldn't you save first? Yes. Saving. Save complete. Now that you've taken precautions and saved, precautions and saved, let's turn bold. So let me get it straight. We had three phases with the boss, <laughs> and then we had the fourth phase with the sheep, and then we have another phase. Look, it's Central Link. How many phases does this, uh, this guy have? This is like the fifth phase now. Grandpa! My sheep! Wait, 
Wait, is Linebacker going to kill him? He's shaking like a leaf. He poked him in the eye. Wake up, wake up, Link. Wake up, hurry up already, Link. Take the sword, Link. Well, uh, what? Let go of me, monster. Uh. Ah. It combines with Landback. Yep. Link. And he became a knight? Okay. Uh, Bellum is the bad one. He is latched onto, onto his back. Get behind him and slash him in the, at his back. Use this. Wait, you want me to? Okay. What about his weak spot, his eye? I stopped time and everything. That has to, to open at some point. Alright, I'll move his uh, back to the top screen. Oh, thank you, that will make uh, things easier. Hey, I can see it, I can see it. His eye has opened, alright. Ah, he got me. So, Link, don't worry about me. I believe the power of the Phantom Sword uh, something better. Okay. Hey, his tentacle is looking is losing grip on me. Now is the time for this phantom sphere. Okay, open up. Open up, man. Okay, so we need to smack him when he opens up and... Uh, okay, so... Uh, I need to also keep moving, apparently I didn't. Okay. Why did it, does it not fall? Hmm.
so slashing him consistently makes him jump. Okay, bombs don't do anything. So if I attack him too many times, he attacks me. If I try to sneak in, don't walk. Well, what, what am I supposed to do? Now? Maybe. Nope. <laughs> yep, no, that's not the way. <laughs> I don't understand. How do I open him up? It only worked one time. Hmm. We can't hit him from the back. Like there isn't enough time to go backward and attack him. So we can't release the fairy. It seems that the only time it happened was when I was uh, somehow slashing him, but it, uh, it only worked one time. So I need to figure out how to stun him for a second and then it will work. But it doesn't work every time. And we can't really aim at anything. Like there isn't a... Yeah, the, the ball doesn't allow us to like aim at specific stuff, we just shoot uh, at a straight angle. Maybe I'm supposed to yank him? Hmm. Let's try it out. just don't have enough time to do it, or it just like doesn't allow it.
Yeah, I can't. I can't use the the hook shot quick enough. When I'm at his back, I literally have like a, a millisecond to do something when I'm at his back. The only thing I can think about is like maybe we need to wait for the eye to be open, allow him to attack me, and then uh, try to attack him. Okay, the eye is closed, so this is not a good time. Okay, attack me, please. Does he not attack me when I, when his eye is uh, open? Yeah, no, he doesn't seem to attack me when his eyes open. Hmm. He did attack me this time when they open. Okay, I didn't go far enough back. Okay, this time I was definitely within the angle, it just didn't work out. Let's drink my second potion. Try running the other way around towards the left. I don't have enough time to walk with the left side. He's blocking my way. I can show you, but... See? It's even slower on the left side. Because I need to dodge both the swords and... Uh, I did it earlier, but earlier basically the only thing that I did was attack him when he was attacking me, which is what I'm trying to do already now. Yeah, so like right at this moment I was attacking him and then it opened him up. Not different cells. Hmm. I'm missing something here. Some kind of mechanic that uh, I'm not aware of. Let's try with the arrows again. I don't think the arrows are the way. Maybe the hammer? No, the hammer is completely blocked off, so we're not supposed to use the hammer. Uh, I feel like if it was dependent on the arrows, they would have provided me arrows or something, right? So. Attack me sometime, which is annoying. I managed to get to his back, but 
using an item right when I'm it is back is like such a small amount of time. Come on. Man. Take me. That should have been a hit. Either I miss him or I don't know what's going on. Because I'm attacking him as soon as I can. Okay, this time it was closed. No. Like, I see the ferry, but we can't grab the ferry, so... Again, I attacked him as soon as I could, but he literally turns around as quickly as I smack him. There must be something that I'm missing here. Okay, I can't just keep running around. What the hell? So this doesn't really matter. I'm trying to counter him so we can get uh, the sword. Uh So even if I take at the same time, we don't get the counter as before. Again, that was like a perfect attack on his back and it didn't work out. I must be doing something with the ferry. Which is not the thing that I did earlier, but... I might have to do this fight, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Might need to look at the information she says again.
And now he's not doing the big attack. Um, yeah, I'm dead. Okay. That's fine. I need to see what uh, what Navi says, or Ciela says. Wait, we are like literally outside of the fight. <laughs> we need to do the entire ghost thing again. All right. I don't have a potion, I think. Or maybe, hmm. Con considering that I died, I also might not have HP. Well, I guess I will see in a second if I have HP or not. If I don't, I will go and, um, and uh, heal later. For now, I'm still experimenting because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, it seems like it's not identical to the first time I'm doing it, so. Can we skip uh, this one? Okay. Wake up, Link. Okay, we're going straight into this fight. But yeah, I don't have HP, so we need to like... Uh, Balance the bad one is latched onto his back. Get behind him and slash with his back. Use this. Wait, what? Apparently I can't draw the figure right now. Okay, that would go. Okay, so let's see what's happening now. What about his weak spot, his eye? I stop time and everything. That eye has to open at some point. Alright, I will move his back to the top screen. Hey, I see it, I can see it. Hey Ling, look at the top screen. His eye has opened alright. Ooh. Ooh. He got me. So Link, don't worry about me. Believe in the power of the Phantom Sword and battle him. Okay, yeah, so you see, I managed to attack him here, which then uh, walked out later. But... Okay, but now it didn't walk. Why? What is the difference? Okay, there we go. So it is uh, about attacking him. Oh, and he, he, you said the same thing, okay. So I found out the same thing you were mentioning now. But now it doesn't open up at all. Okay, so we can keep attacking regardless of his... Uh... Now it's time for the Phantom Sphere. 
Okay. Okay, so now we need to wait for it to open up. Okay, I messed up. I didn't mean to do it that early, but whatever. Okay, I know the mechanic, I, I want to die now, because we need to heal. Okay. So now we know what I need to do. Okay, we need to, to work with Tor by the island and, uh, and heal all of that. Uh, I want to get the yellow potions. Does this guy have yellow potions? So I need to go to the to the town. But the thing is about attacking him, I tried to attack him several times when he opens up, but at some point he jumps to the side. So maybe it's like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, welcome, you'll find anything you need here at the Ship Shop. So the point is 20, okay, what's that? Okay, that, that's a touch Uh. How much does that heal me? Eight hours, eat automatically if you fall. Okay. Let's uh, go to town real quick to see if we have the, the gold portion. Because the gold portions are better. It's basically full end. First of all, let's drink uh, that real quick. Okay, so she sells the exact same stuff. How much does she sell that for? She is way cheaper than Beetle. Why, why the hell would I buy stuff from Beetle? Ah, that's not what I meant. Uh... Okay, so... I don't remember where the higher level portions are at. So let's stick to the normal ones, I guess. It's fine. It's not, a... it's not too bad. It's just not amazing. 150 
Uh, I don't really need automatic one. Yeah, let's just stick with the normal ones. I have the, I have the money, but I don't really need automatic ones. All right, let's uh, save. Okay. Uh, before we actually do that, I, I need to take a quick break, so I shall be right back. I mentioned earlier that we need to go in like an hour, so I need to go. I will be back in like five minutes, so I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about uh, the slightly longer break. I had to, to go and deal with something, but uh, we should be good now. Also, when I was on my break, I actually thought about something. When I started the game, I said that I feel like Lineback is going to be our enemy, or like it will be at some point. <laughs> and uh, he kinda did, if we think about it. He kinda, he kinda became our, our enemy just now. Not not intention, intentionally, but he's technically our enemy. So I guess uh, what I predicted came through <laughs> in that regard. But anyway, let's uh, let's get cracking. Let's uh, crack lines back, line backs back. Literally. An enemy. Oh, never mind, he's gone. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. Alright, now that I know I can skip all of this stuff, I can just skip it, so it makes things a bit faster. Wake up! Alright. So. Use this. Okay, there we go. What about this weak spot? Is I. I stopped the time and everything. The tie is to open up at some point. Alright, our move is back to the top screen. Okay, I can see it, yep, yep. Look at the top screen, yep, I can see it. Now she's being kidnapped. He got me, yep. Okay, there we go. Hey, his tentacle is losing grip. Now it's time for uh, the Phantom Sphere. Okay, that's fine. Okay, all the messed up, so let's wait for the next uh, window. Messing up making eights. It's so it's so annoying. Guess apparently it's not about tracing with the ferry. Okay, there we go. Alright. Next part. Let's go. Okay, so he slashes me as soon as he jumps over, which doesn't allow me to attack him. Okay, 
Yeah, hmm. Do I just need to keep doing it until he gets tired? Can't move fast enough. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Okay. Open up, please. Open up, please. Robbing. Okay, next boat. Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, that's different. Oh, uh, what? Okay, I didn't manage to do the 8 again. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, open up. No. No. Okay. Please open up. Please open up. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. He literally only does it for like a fraction of a second. Well... <laughs> Doesn't let me do it. No! Man, trying to do the 8 while trying to dodge him at the same time is <laughs> a bad joke. I literally don't 
I don't have enough time to do it. He's so doing it so quickly. <laughs> I'm jiggling rather than throwing an eight. Okay, let's take a potion. Maybe I can stun him and do it at the same time. Nope. Link, take it. <laughs> okay, apparently I have more now. Apparently I can stack on them. Come on, open up. <laughs> mm. oh, I'm not there. Uh, mm. Yeah, by the time I managed to draw it, he's already closing up. How is that fair? Yeah. Okay, time to rub it again. Okay, once again. Opens up right away. Hmm. Spin. I can't do it. <laughs> Throwing an eight is painful. to walk on my eights. <laughs> well, I, I can draw the eight. The problem is I don't have enough time to draw the eight and also have him open up. So like I can see he, he was open a second ago, but <laughs> then he closes up. I think I need to just spam it and hope I get lucky.
Okay, there we go. Spam to win. Okay. Okay, time to orbit. Let's uh, get another one. Okay. Come on, rabbit. Time to go there and take, man. Okay. Closed up. Wait, it was opened when I was behind him, but it only opened after he attacked me. What? Okay, yeah, well, that was uh, unlucky. Again. Okay. Again, he spins. He spins. Comes over. Come on. It literally. I literally closed as soon as I finished throwing my aid. Come on, let me throw my eight in peace, man. It's already a struggle to throw this thing. <laughs> I'm drawing eights. Ten times, and then it's like, ah, no, you, you, meant, you meant this eight? Yeah, I meant, I meant this eight, right when it's closed. Yeah, how did you know? <laughs> Come on, man. Spin to win. Smacks. Okay, that's fine. Avoid. Nope. Not avoiding that. Oh my god, I managed to do it. Okay. Are we done? 
Oh, is there another phase? Is it over? <laughs> only, only, only six phases. <laughs> oh my god. Tetra. She's just waving hi. <laughs> and there we go, we absorb the last uh, piece of sand. Yeesh, ouch, what's going on uh, here? I thought... Are you okay, Lineback? You were possessed by Bellum. What? Oh, that's right, I... I, I think... I remember something about Link. Oh, kid, uh, I, mean, I mean Link, uh, so, I'm sorry. I know I was possessed by that monster, but to think that I... Smile. Shush, Lineback. If you hadn't stood up to Bellum when you did, who knows what might have happened to us. Well, I guess I got caught up uh, in the moment. What? That's not like you. Are you sure you're lying back? My ship just took a little uh, um, damage. Damage? Didn't, didn't the entire ship just sunk? Grandpa. Is Grandpa going to come back from the ocean? It's a giant whale! <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh... Link, Lineback, and Sierra. Oh, okay, so Gamble was a whale. I have returned to my true form. For that, I thank you. That makes sense. That's why he was called the Ocean King, clearly. Because he was a whale. A sp specifically, white whale. W what? Who are old men? Is that you? I never would have guessed you really looked like that. If not for you, I would have been sealed up forever. This sea would have fallen into desolation and evil. You saved me and the Great Sea. Thank you. Lineberg? What, me? What, who, me? I have to make uh, good on a promise I made to you. I grant you one wish. What is it? Come on, say it. You want uh, a treasure, don't you? Just ask. No, that's not it at all. I don't need treasures anymore, I, I think. Well, I guess if I have to... If you insist... 
Can you bring back my ship? The one uh, that sank? What? That's it? You know, even if you ask uh, for treasure later, that's it. That's enough from you, Sparkles. You always got uh, to get uh, the last word, don't you? The sand of hours is returned and peace reigns. The ghost ship will no longer haunt your world. Our world? So what is the world that we are in now? Wait, yeah, what is the world we are in now then? What is this place? The time for you to return to your world is near. The door to your world is about to open. We are inhabitants of this world. We must return to the world of the Ocean King. Thanks, Link. And you too, Lineback. Your courage will not be forgotten. Okay, so let me get it straight. This is basically a dream world, the same, the same as Link's Awakening. So this is basically a throwback to the other game. Oh, well, uh, thank goodness, Lineback. Now I don't have to look at you any longer. <laughs> I was getting tired of seeing you all the time. Ugh, that's my line. Get out of here and good riddance. Well, I'm I'm leaving now. Thanks, uh, Lineback. I would like to stay with you, Link, but I am a spirit. I serve the Ocean King. Now we have to say goodbye. Thanks, Link. Are we like uh, fist bumping the ferry? And there we go! We got our credits! Oh, God, this game was definitely difficult. But only difficult because I'm not used to like the, the DS touch system. Oof. And that last boss fight was definitely something. Six phases? Dear God. But if I just like what is the hardest thing about this game? It's definitely the, the fishing and the, the shooting range, dear god. Both of these places are so rough. If I probably play more the more uh, touch uh, games, I probably would be better in this, in this kind of game, but god. I, I, de I definitely don't play a lot of touch games. Or, I, I don't play any touch games at all. <laughs> the only touch game that I play is a point click game, I played like Layton. Not, uh, not a fighting game. I don't think that yeah, I don't think there are in general that many fighting games on the DS that use the touch system. I think this is probably one of the only ones. Well, this one and also we we also have uh, the other one after that, which is also using the touch system. So we are going to use the touch system again, and it's going to be exciting, <laughs> I guess. I don't know if the game after that is also a touch, uh, touch system kind of game, so we shall see. <laughs> the hardest part wasn't the final boss, it was getting the 8 right, yeah. Yeah, I actually managed to like uh, clear the the boss easily, like all of the first pa the phase failures, but the last phase was, uh, was dumb, because it wasn't clear how you open up the boss. I literally had to like... 
figure it out by literally trying every single thing possible? Well, it was ridiculous, man. Look, it's my autograph. <laughs> Oh. Hey. And we are on the ghost ship. Okay. Interesting. Huh? Where are we? Boss. Lineback disappeared. And the ghost ship is, is back. What is going on? So, you were okay all along? I was worried when I heard all that, all that screaming. But you look fine. What about uh, the ghost ship? Was there a treasure aboard? What are you talking about? <laughs> I was almost frozen forever on the thing. Link saved me. You won't believe what he went through. Do you understand what we have been through? Where were you? Did you even look for us? What are you talking about? You were only on the cheap. It's only been about 10 minutes. Ten minutes? You've got to be kidding me. Do you know what we have been through? I've no idea what you are talking about. How could I? It was probably a bad dream. <laughs> you are not listening. It was longer than 10 minutes, I'm telling you. That ghost ship is really, really dangerous. Dot, dot, dot. It's not there anymore. It disappeared. The the, the ship it, it it is gone. It really was cursed. The dream you had uh, was uh, the work of that ghost ship. Yik. Hey, I told you it wasn't a dream. You guys never listen. Look, I have the timepiece. Let me guess, we're going to see a giant well. No, but we do see line there. Look, it's my <laughs> weirdly <laughs> customized ship. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. The end. Alright, there we go. With that, we are officially done with uh, The Legend of Zelda and uh, the Phantom Hourglass, or just the Phantom Hourglass. I don't know that. One interesting looking ship, yep. Yep. You have like a, a coral on your uh, Your house is a coral, the ship is uh, is elegant, the wheels are uh, windmills, the, the anchor is a bell, I, I think. <laughs> this ship looks so weird because I was like, okay, let's let's put everything on it and see and see what it looks like. <laughs> 
Oh god. So let's see, what happens if I go inside? Oh, okay, so it like uh, puts us uh, over here, so we can like uh, go back to the same place. I see. Oh much well. With that, uh, we can officially say that we are done with uh, the end of Zelda. Uh, I don't want to wrap up yet, but I also don't want to start uh, the other game. So, what shall we do? Um, we can start my Stardew playthrough. I want to play Stardew. Uh, I guess we can do that, maybe. Mm, what time is it, actually? It depends what time it is. Uh, no, it's a bit uh, it's a bit late, because I also started a bit late. So let's actually wrap it up here. We're going to have a slightly shorter stream today, I guess. And uh, from next time we shall uh, jump into Tandem. And after I'm done with Tandem, we'll do Sado. Alright, so let's say let's wrap it up. Alright, so thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out and thank you for King Company. But that shall be it for today. And per usual, if you liked what you've seen here, make sure to follow me on Twitch. And if you are watching this play to another else that I may have uploaded into, make sure to follow, subscribe, or whatever it's called over there. But it's first day, that should be it. So once again, thank you. And I shall uh, see you next time for uh, more stuff. So, bye-bye.